If ever there was a way to get me to cover a game, all you would have to do is spam the shit out of my Discord and send me messages about the same damn game to get me to cover it. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cover this game because you guys kept telling me to look at this, all right? So we're gonna look at this, all right? This is called Unrecord. Uh, I haven't really seen too much. Well, actually, I did see a preview of it like a long time ago on Twitter somewhere. I think it was like a year ago. When I first saw it, it didn't really like impress me all that much. I thought that uh, it looked realistic when they tried to do like the fish eye type of deal. When I looked at the gun, I thought that it was like really like weird looking because it wasn't properly in his hand and also i believe that this is oh yeah the shooting looked a little weird too uh this is uh, i think a bot asset uh the big building here i think this is one that was featured in ground branch if i'm not mistaken the windows look familiar um yeah this so this is the old recording so i kind of want to see what that new one looks like it's from uh, ign i believe all right i kind of want to react to this here so this is unrecord okay we got an actual name for it now Alright, this looks... Oh, wow. This almost looks like a literal body cam. What the hell? I should probably turn up the settings, huh? Damn, this looks really good. Wow. This almost looks realistic. Oh, that part right there made it look like, like a game right there. Oh, yep. Shots fired! Shots fired! Cool. I wonder how they're getting it to move like that. Is that exactly where the mouse is? Damn. It again, long. Okay. This looks a little creepy. What the fuck was that supposed to be? Drone? That Amy looks a little awkward, not gonna lie. But damn, this looks really good. This looks like real, like an actual, like almost abandoned warehouse, but it looks, looks cool. dialogue tree who are you everything will be fine where is oscar you will pay some very simple dialogue tree i wonder if it's like fallout 4 where there's just like an entire thing of dialogue behind just a few le uh words where the fuck is oscar no oh, i was right where the fuck is oscar So in the beginning here, this actually looked real until it got to the part where it showed like the bad guy kind of run over and it's like, oh, this is a game or pre-rendered footage, maybe. Yeah, so like it looked real until it got to this part right here where it showed that guy run across and it's like, oh, OK, yeah, that's a game. And then like the animation kind of go looks a little weird when he hops over this. and. The shooting looks a little awkward, but I mean that the shooting actually looks a little more like realistic from a body body cam perspective. It's just um, the only thing that I see wrong with this game is that it's going to be a little awkward when trying to shoot at least. But I'd have to see how it feels when you're actually like playing the game. I just imagine myself getting like really disoriented when I'm seeing like this fish eye sort of deal. But it looks really cool. I like it. Shots fired! Shots fired! It looks cool. 
Um, let's dig into the details just a little bit. Unrecord is a single player FPS that tells the story of a tactical police officer from the perspective of his body cam. As you work to resolve a complex case, you'll need to use your tactical and detective skills to succeed. Okay, it's interesting. Okay, so this is a single player game, okay. Can't imagine how this would be if it was freaking multiplayer, like I feel like it would go nuts. I wonder how the story is going to be told, like this body cam is obviously going to be showing what you're character did previously right maybe like seeing what's going on officers are looking at his dead body or something just a hunch about the game unrecord is a tactical shooter where players can expect an immersive and narrative experience unrecord features complex dialogue innovative gameplay mechanics tough moral dilemmas and a unique shooting system the storyline in unrecord can be compared to a detective novel or a thriller the player will have to investigate several criminal cases and confront a diverse cast of characters the game's plot and presentation will be central to the gameplay experience and players can anticipate a range of gameplay sequences as well as numerous plot twists Ooh. wish list on record and stay up to date sure why not everybody and their mother's talking about it and it does look kind of cool might as well try it they've definitely put a lot of effort into it at least from the last time that i saw it because before it looked kind of janky but now it actually looks fairly good i mean i still feel like it's gonna feel awkward when you're trying to play but i guess we'll have to see when we actually get our hands on it seems pretty cool i did see another game that was like a body cam style game and it was a, a scary game i think it was kind of looks a little bit like uh, phasmophobia personally i think the fisheye works better there than it does here but i mean i'm still curious to see how this one plays out so yeah as I was looking into this, they actually dropped a video that somebody posted in my Discord because um, people were saying that it was like pre-rendered, but the developer was like, nope, it's not pre-rendered. So we'll take a look at that here. We got it right here. So this is the front part that they were showing off here at the beginning. Um, you know, this could definitely be like pre-rendered stuff, but then he like hops into the game. Okay, yeah, that, so that's a character spawn right there. I mean, is there a chance that this could be fake? Maybe, but I don't know. I wish they would have showed him like crouching or something, but I mean, yeah, that's, that's a definite character spawn unless he's faking it. From everything that I've seen from like Unreal 5, the games are just starting to look stupid realistic to the point that you could actually fool somebody that it could be like a camera from a real event. But there are still ways to tell if it's like a game. And like I said, the way that they were moving and like hopping over stuff and, you know, aiming definitely felt a little unnatural from like real stuff. So it's definitely not real. It's unreal. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I would definitely love to get my hands on this because it looks really cool. Uh, but what are your guys' thoughts? I feel like the fish eye is going to be a little disorienting, in my personal opinion. It seems like a really cool gimmick, like when you're watching it on screen, but if you're trying to play it in game i feel like it's gonna hurt your eyes but maybe that's just me but yeah that's really all i got to say about this game hopefully it's an actual game and not a dude just like recording with his freaking body cam probably isn't but yeah thank you all for watching and uh, i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye